To say Jose Mourinho's three-year stint at Real Madrid was eventful would be an understatement. Memorable battles with Pep Guardiola and that famous Barcelona team storming to the La Liga title in 2011-12 with 100 points, fallouts with the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo and other key figures in the dressing room, the usual fiery press conferences, it was a thrilling ride for the Portuguese. During the three-year stay at the Spanish capital, the special one made 15 signings for Los Blancos, and some of them proved master strokes. Of course, some were not so smart, and that's just part of the game. So how many are still at the club, and where are the rest of them? Let's have a look. 1. Angel Di Maria A truly world-class winger, Di Maria turned out to be a smart signing by Mourinho. The Argentines arrived at Santiago Bernabeu from Benfica in the summer of 2010 and was key in Madrid's counter-attacking style of play, forming part of a lethal attacking unit that terrorized Europe. He departed Madrid for Manchester in 2014, having won a number of titles including the Champions League. His time at Old Trafford was, however, far from what everyone involved in the deal anticipated and was forced out after just a season, heading to France with Paris Saint-Germain. And after seven seasons at the Paris-based club, he departed and remained out until he recently returned to Benfica as a free agent. And oh, he won the World Cup in between. It's safe to say he is one of the many elite players Mourinho signed for Madrid. 2. Mesut Ozil After shining at the 2010 World Cup, Ozil moved to Real Madrid ahead of the 2020-11 season and established himself as football's best number 10 at the time. In fact, his name became synonyms with playmaking. He formed part of Madrid's attacking unit and was the key supply line to Ronaldo under Mourinho. His stay at Real Madrid was, however, short-lived. He spent just two seasons before leaving in 2013, with his destination, the Emirates Stadium in London. His move to Arsenal in 2014 was huge for the Premier League, and it was meant to signify a new era for Arsenal. Despite a good start, he never lived up to the expectations. He found himself out of favor with both Unai Emery and his successor, Michael Arteta, who relegated him to the bench in his second season. He bid a sad goodbye to the Gunners in January 2021 and joined Turkish giants Fenerbahce. His stay at Fener was short, though, and after failing to rekindle his career there, he moved to Istanbul Basakseyir, another club in the Turkish Super League, before announcing his retirement earlier this year. 3. Sami Khedira Another German who was signed after impressing at the 2010 World Cup in South Africa, Khedira arrived in Madrid for an undisclosed fee from German club Stuttgart and went on to win every trophy available. Call him a trophy collector. He became a key member of that Madrid side for five good seasons before leaving to see out his last few years at the top at Juventus. He stayed at the Italian Giants until 2021, when he left to return to his native country with Hertha Berlin, where he stayed for just a season before retiring from professional football. He hasn't quite revealed his plans for the future, but the last time we saw him, he was enrolling in UEFA's leadership program for former international players. Maybe it's a sign of things to come, perhaps a career in management. 4. Ricardo Carvalho this was the second time Mourinho was signing the former Portuguese international. He first took him from Porto to Stamford Bridge when he took over at Chelsea. The hard-tackling centre-back became one of Mourinho's go-to men at Chelsea, and they hoped to have a happy reunion. Unfortunately for the defender, he was past his sell-by date by the time he was signing for Madrid and didn't quite enjoy a good stay at the club. He left in 2013 to join Monaco, a club he helped FC Porto defeat in the 2004 UEFA Champions League final on a one-year deal. He played there for three seasons as well before finally hanging up his boots following a short stint with Shanghai SIPG. Following his retirement, he worked as assistant manager under former Chelsea boss André Villas-Boas at Marseille between 2019 and 2021. He made a return to football coaching in 2023, joining Roberto Martinez as one of the assistant coaches of the Portugal national team. 5. Sergio Canales One of the lesser-known players signed by Mourinho, Canales arrived at Madrid as one for the future. He was a wonder kid ready to take over the world, but he simply didn't live up to the hype. Injuries got in the way of the attacking midfielder and stopped him from ever breaking into the Real Madrid first-team setup on a regular basis. 
Unable to get a chance in the starting lineup, Canales made a permanent move to Valencia in 2012, where he stayed for three years before another move to Real Sociedad. He spent four good years at Sociedad between 2014 and 2018 before Real Batiste came calling. He thrived at the heart of the Batiste midfield for five good seasons before moving to Mexican side Monterrey this year, where he still plays. 6. Pedro Leon Little can be said of Leon. It's certainly one name that failed at Real Madrid. He arrived at the Santiago Bernabeu from Getafe in July 2010, after impressing in La Liga the season before, scoring nine goals and assisting 12 in 42 appearances in all competitions. He was one of Spain's most exciting young wingers at the time. A dead ball specialist with potential to become a world-class talent, it quite never worked out, and partly thanks to Mourinho, who almost froze him out of the starting team. By the end of the first season, which happened to be the only season in a Madrid shirt, Pedro had a mere 14 appearances, scoring just two goals. He returned to Getafe, first on loan before a permanent move. Since then, he has had stints with Ibar, Fuenlabrada, and is currently at Murcia. 7. Emmanuel Adebayor Mourinho has always been a master of good signings, and taking Adebayor on loan from Manchester City was one of the good short-term deals he ever did. The Togo International proved to be a pretty astute piece of business, scoring eight goals in 22 appearances before returning to England. He found a new home at Tottenham Hotspur, where he stayed for four years and became a fan favorite before moving across town to sign for Crystal Palace. He became a real journeyman, taking his adventure to Turkey with Istanbul Basaksehir and Kasserispor before featuring for Olympia FC in Paraguay. After his spell at Olympia, Adebayor signed for Togolese Championat National Club Semasi in July 2021, where he played for two years before announcing his retirement from professional football in March this year. 8. Jose Calayon Calayon's story at Real Madrid is not a success. The former Spain international came through the ranks at the Madrid club, but was let go and joined Barcelona-based side Espanyol. He was, however, re-signed by Mourinho in 2011, and he saw it as an opportunity to mend things, make them right. It was never to be, though, as he struggled significantly for game time and was once again let go after just two seasons, this time joining Italian side Napoli. It's in Italy that he almost realized his full potential, endearing himself to the Napoli fans in the process. In fact, he became a permanent fixture in that Napoli's star-studded attack and is widely recognized as one of the finest forwards in the Serie A. After seven seasons in Naples, he moved to Fiorentina in 2020 and finally Granada, where he currently plays. 9. Nuri Sahin Having impressed at the base of Borussia Dortmund's midfield under Jurgen Klopp, the world, and Real Madrid fans in particular, expected big things from the former Turkish international when he arrived in 2011. However, a string of injuries hampered his development, and he was frequently offloaded. After just a season, with no hope of finding his feet again in Madrid, Sahin decided to try his luck elsewhere and was loaned to Liverpool for a season. He then returned to Dortmund on another loan deal before making the move permanent in 2014. He stayed at the club for four seasons before joining Werder Bremen for two seasons. He then went to Turkey, featuring for Antalyaspor, a club he currently coaches after transitioning successfully from a player to manager. 10. Rafael Varane Varane is arguably Mourinho's finest defensive signing in Madrid and perhaps in his coaching career. Well, to some that might be a bit of a stretch, but we can all agree that the World Cup winner was a brilliant signing for Real Madrid. His arrival from Lens was envied by the rest of Europe's top clubs, and he went on to become one of the world's best defenders. Alongside Sergio Ramos at the back, the pair was the foundation on which Madrid's success over the past couple of seasons was built. They won the Champions League three times in a row and were dominant in La Liga. He stayed at the club until the summer of 2021 when he left for Manchester United after failing to agree on a contract extension. He still is at Old Trafford, wearing the famous red shirt. What a signing that was for Madrid. Well, Mourinho didn't sign so many players for Madrid. Still on the list was Michael Isian, who arrived on loan from Chelsea but stayed for just a season. There was also Diego Lopez, 
who interestingly usurped Iker Casillas when he had a falling out with Mourinho. He was a decent backup to the former Spanish international, but he made a move away to AC Milan in 2014. There was also Fabio Contral, who arrived at Santiago Bernabeu as a young promising left back, but did not quite live up to expectations. He struggled under the shadow of Marcelo, who was obviously technically superior. Tough luck. Contrao currently owns a number of fishing boats in his native Portugal, employing tens of people. Lastly on that list, there was Luka Modric. Boy, this one was spot on. It's always special when you sign a future Ballon d'Or winner. Modric struggled in his first season in Madrid, but he has since gone on to become one of the game's best midfielders, and against all odds, beat Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo to the Ballon d'Or in 2018. He is the only player signed by Mourinho who is still at the club. Now you know where Mourinho's signings at Real Madrid are.